Alright guys, we are back for part 8, I believe. We have just lost Dillion's head, and now we have to go get it back. Because it fell way, way down there. So, here we go. Beat the beast up. Oh man, it's a long drop. Come on, why don't you block after that? Block! Block, what are you doing? Yes, get up. Move! Come on, use it. Oh, come on. Get it. Come on, jump. Woo! Jeez. Oh. Oh, man. Be on the other side of that wall, then. Okay. Boom. 
Ah, oh, come on. this dragon's accursed treasure, and he uses Sigurd to reclaim it. He tells Sigurd the story of Fafnir's gold, and the good-hearted hero promises to slay the dragon if Rain would forge a strong sword for him. Sigurd remembers that his father once possessed a sword given to him by Odin. Odin broke the sword to bring about Sigmund's death, but Sigurd's mother still <coughs> has the pieces, and so Rain reforges the famous sword. Sigurd uses the sword first to avenge his father, and then he and Rayan go in search of Fafnir. Once she gets down there, she'll come out. It's a her down. The darkness will take her like it took her mother. Deeper and deeper. The beast knows. <laughs> the beast knows. It's so good. She's falling for it. She goes for their tricks every time. Plays into his hands. Uh, we're about to have another battle. The lights run out. She'll die. She'll die. The dragon Fafnir is so large and deadly that it would be impossible to kill him face to face. But each day. Fafnir crawls across the heath to find water. So Sigurd digs a pit in the dragon's path and lies in wait in it. When Fafnir slithers overhead, Sigurd sinks his sword into the dragon up to the hilt. Sigurd leaps from the pit, and Fafnir sees his killer. He warns Sigurd that the treasure will lead to his death, as it led to the death of all who owned it. Sigurd replies that death comes to all men. And every man would want to be wealthy until that day. And he takes the treasure. Oh, of course I gotta run somewhere else. Man. Well. If I run over there. Uh, no. It's too intense.
Hmm. I can clearly light that area. See, that didn't work. What's she doing? She's lighting a fire. She's making light. She's making a fire. She's got a light on the other side. She'll be safe. What's the plan? What's she thinking? Oh man, do I have to run all the way here to light this thing? There's no way. I think I legitimately have to run now. That was ridiculous. Set the stores on fire. Dead end. She can't help but think of him. A tender guiding flame in a world so black. The longer it burned, the more she convinced herself that there was nothing beyond its reach. How little separates us from what we fear. There's still further to go. Go, go. Although Sigurd kills the dragon, Rian wants to keep Fafnir's gold all for himself. 
Rayan also wants the strength and wisdom of the dragon, so he drinks its blood and asks Sigurd to roast Fafnir's heart for him. Sigurd does so, but when he touches the roasted heart to see if it is done, he burns his finger. Without thinking, he licks his finger and tastes the dragon's blood. In that moment, he understands the language of birds and hears them talk nearby. Molly. Get this thing, dude. Come on. Oh, come on. Get up. Get some. Come on, dude. No! Get up, get up, get up, get up, get up. Come 
rebuking darkness. Jeez, let's go. Get it. think of evil as an unnatural, invisible force, and so invoke the gods for protection. But evil can come from the hand behind the gods. A familiar hand, cold and cruel. He tried to fix her with his rituals, kept her trapped in that hole. She couldn't say which was worse. The darkness. Or the monster that her father had become. She couldn't fight them both. And so she left. Headed for the one ray of light that shone down on her. If she had stayed, she wouldn't have survived. Maybe Delian would still be alive. I'm so sorry, Lena. She will save his soul. Even if this time she can't save her own. Forgive me, Senua. I know you have no reason to trust me anymore. But believe this. It was my mission to make you hate. To hate the darkness with a passion so great it would focus your mind on this quest. at every turn. You deserve to see behind the veil of darkness. Then take me to 
he wants to to trust him. As deep as we can go. No. I won't stand in your way. She has to trust him. You will not survive what is in there. All right, guys, we're going to end this video right here. If you... Uh-oh. Maybe. Mother, I won't let the darkness trick me again. I know you're safe with the gods. I can feel Hela's gaze searching for secrets inside of me. Secrets that even I can't see. I'm not here to fight my past. I'm here for Dillian. I will fulfill my vow, whatever the cost. Oof. Okay, so we're gonna end this video right here. Um, this is part nine, not part eight. Um, if you like the video, hit the like like button. If uh, you want to continue to follow along, hit the subscribe button for me. And um, we're gonna keep this going, man. This is so hard to do with these voices not shutting up. <laughs> um, so hit the subscribe button for me, and uh, you can continue to follow along. Um, and we're gonna follow this up with part 10. I have I have a feeling we're getting really really close um, To to being done with uh, the game. We're, we're kind of upon Helena here, so Stay tuned for part 10. Thanks for watching guys